This is a video for how to go about embedding a YouTube video into Canvas. You'll notice that I'm on the front page of my Canvas kind of sandbox thing I have set up here. And in a previous video, we showed how to embed a Google slide into this sheet. And it's the same thing within any assignment or on this, you know, kind of home page thing. You can embed YouTube videos. And we're going to go to YouTube and I'm going to go ahead just to my YouTube channel and I'm going to go to videos and you'll see some of their Canvas videos I've created right here. And, you know, just for the sake of discussion, I showed a video on how to embed a Google slide into Canvas. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, I'm going to go to share and I want to copy this link. Now you could go straight to the embed code if you wanted to and just copy and paste that in. You can also do the link option as well. So what I'm going to do is I already said copy. I'm not going to copy this for the sake of discussion. And we're going to go back to uh, Canvas and I'm just going to go to my home page. You know, and if I want to move this kind of out of the way, I can. I'm going to kind of click up here above and I'm going to enter a few times and I'm going to move that slide down and let's say we wanted to keep that slide or we want to put a YouTube video underneath it we could but the purpose of the video is just to show how to embed something so I'm going to come up to this thing up here that says apps and you click the little arrow next to it and we're going to go to YouTube and I'm going to paste in the link for that video and when I hit enter it's going to say how to embed you know a slide in the canvas that's the video I chose and I'm going to say embed as you're going to see it kind of showed up right there now it looks like it's smaller than you know the Google slide we have down here so if we come down to the HTML editor we could change the width and the height to be the same width and the height of the you know Google slide we have so up here at the top I'm gonna to go ahead and just put in a thousand and for height I'm gonna to go to 650 and we're gonna go back to rich content editor and when I open this up now it should have gone a little bit bigger but it decided not to but if I go to save down at the bottom you can see that we now have for ourselves our video up here at the top and we've completely embedded it in now what we could also do for the sake of discussion is I can just go back and I'm gonna just delete this video so I kind of tap to the right of it and I hit backspace and it's gone I'm gonna go back to here we're gonna go to share and I'm gonna go to embed and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to highlight all this and let's go to share again I'm gonna go to embed I'm gonna highlight everything that I'm going to embed I'm gonna highlight all of it I'm gonna control C on my keyboard I go back to canvas Let's go back to our HTML editor. And when you're in this HTML editor, sometimes it's going to say, you know, how do you want to go about placing things? And I'm just going to hit Control-V and place this up here. Now, we notice that this is basically beginning of paragraph, ending of paragraph, and there's nothing in here but, you know, spaces. It's going to leave that. So we once again have our em embedding in here. Let's see if this will let us make this a little bit wider. I'm going to go 1,000 for width again. And for height, I'm going to go to 650. Let's go back to our HTML editor here. Let's go back. Ooh, and now that made that a little bit bigger. With the app, it wouldn't let us do that as well. But now when I go to save, you can see that now that video is placed and it's just as large as our Google slide on the bottom. This is a really good thing to do um, if you're giving instructions to students as far as, you know, um, work through all these instructional videos. You know, so if I went back to, I'm going to go back to modules real quick. And in a previous module, we had gone in and created for ourselves that Google slide and placed it. Um, in a previous video so I'm gonna go to edit up here at the top and you know and I can say you know read through this slide below what if I said follow the instructional video below you know and turn in you know an assignment I'm gonna hit backspace a few times and get rid of this Google slide and I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna go back down here to our HTML editor and you know I can go right underneath here I'm gonna go ahead and just paste that in let's do a thousand again in here real quick a thousand and I'm gonna go back over here and we'll do 650 again and you know embedding these into assignments where students have to complete things and upload things this works really well within modules to create you know to embed videos that if any student has to do things like for distance learning and things like that it's good but it's also good within the classroom as well you can just go to save and we now have that embedded right into an assignment i have it also embedded right up here into the home screen and, you know, if you need instructional videos to place or anything like that, it's an excellent way to communicate things to students or any group you might be teaching in Canvas. So this has been a video for how to go about embedding a YouTube video into Canvas.